Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And first of all, I'm so sorry this is out of focus. Um, it'll get better soon. Uh, the first few clips, I don't know, I just completely didn't pay attention to the focus. Anyway, um, <laughs> welcome to my Plan With Me video for February. And for this month's theme, I decided to do a uh, Northern Lights theme because uh, in February, I'm going to Iceland for a week and hopefully um, see the Northern Lights. If not, then that would be pretty disappointing. But nonetheless, I still think the trip would be amazing. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of really cool stuff, but I'll make a video out of that too. So stay tuned for that. And so to make the cover page, I just used my Windsor Newton gouache. And, and I actually wanted to make a Northern Lights theme for a while now, but I just thought I should wait until February because <laughs> that would be the most fitting. Um, so first I just um, used black and I think a little bit of white uh, to make the landscape, so sort of like the mountains and there's a darker um, area that's more in the foreground and then a bit of a lighter background. Um, or lighter area at, at the back. And then for the Northern Lights themselves, um, I wasn't really sure how to make them, so I just looked up online how they sort of looked. And so I just made these uh, squiggly lines and I just made sure to incorporate multiple colors, multiple shades of blue and green um, into the lines. <laughs> because I noticed that that would make them a bit more realistic. So I used green, blue and white to make it lighter. And yeah, just mix it together. Here I'm adding some trees uh, to make the landscape a bit more interesting to look at. And then I decided to um, block off the calendar with some washi tape uh, so the lines would stay nice and straight, but I really should have done that a bit earlier. Um, <laughs> but it's still nice that I did that. Yeah, so now I am going to paint the sky and instead of just using black, I mixed in some blue as well. Um, otherwise it would kind of blend together with the uh, landscape too much. Um, so yeah, I really like how it looks. It really uh, fits together with the lights, the Northern Lights really well. And then towards uh, the mountains, the landscape or whatever, I made it a little bit lighter just so you could see the, the contrast between the light or between the sky and the land a bit better. And then I use a wet brush uh, to sort of soften the lines. Uh, I wanted it to make it look more like real lights uh, <laughs> in the sky, but I don't think I really achieved that effect. Um, and then it was time to add the stars, which was just so much fun. Um, I guess you could also um, just splatter it on the page, but I thought that would be a bit too messy. I would have to block off a lot of things. And I actually really like um, adding the stars one by one with a teeny tiny detail brush. And then I removed the washi tape, which didn't leave um, a very satisfying straight line, um, but I did fix that later. 
and now I'm just writing out the title for February and I just use a very simple uh, font. I just used my detail brush again and just wrote February in these thin, long <laughs> letters. Then adding in some more trees, just because it was looking a little bit empty in the top right corner. When it was finally dry, I uh, continued making the calendar, so I just added the lines. I just... I think a small calendar is really enough for me. I just like to have an overview of the month, but I don't really need really big um, boxes per day um, to plan everything out. I just, yeah, I just like having a small calendar. On to the next page. Um, the paint sort of bled through, but it wasn't a big issue because I was gonna paint on this page as well. Um, so these two pages are gonna be my expense tracker and a notes section on the right. And I just continued doing the Northern Lights. Um, yeah, in this sort of wavy <laughs> pattern. And then just used this very dark blue again uh, to make the background. Also, if you're wondering why there's so much yellow light coming from the left, um, I was filming this in the evening when it was already dark outside and there already isn't a lot of light um, in this room anyway. Um, but at night it was even darker and so I had to use an extra um, desk lamp <laughs> to make more light. Uh, it's not the prettiest, but it, at least it gave me enough light. And then again with the white paint, I just wrote the title first for notes on the right and then for expenses on the left. And then adding a few more stars and finishing the expense tracker and then this spread is done. And on to the next page, which uh, is gonna be my packing list for when I go to Iceland. Um, I just wanted to make this very, very simple. So I just used a blue, um, a calligraph and that was it <laughs> and then I decided to first do all of the pages that needed painting because I filmed this in two days um, in the evening and then the next day on, in the morning um, <laughs> and didn't want to have to paint uh, twice in a row so I just for this weekly spread um, yeah painted this scene I'll explain later why it looks a little 
weird like this. Usually my weeks are just divided into one page weekly spreads or two page weekly spreads. But for this month, I decided to do it a little differently. Also, I noticed I made the boxes the wrong size. I, I always counted, but I guess I miscounted. And now the top three boxes are longer than the bottom two. It's really annoying, but I can't really fix it anymore. You know what, let me just explain it now. Um, <laughs> the reason that on the right I have these four really big uh, boxes and some smaller ones on the left is because I usually don't need a lot of space for my daily tasks and appointments so making a one page weekly spread is usually enough for me but I wanted to give myself um, enough space to write about my Iceland adventures um, so for the week that I'm going to Iceland which starts on a Friday um, I made the boxes a lot bigger so I could really write in them, like sort of like a diary. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's annoying that the week or the, the vacation starts on a Friday and ends on a Friday, because then now the, the weeklies look a little bit messed up. So on the left you see week three, um, and I'll do, let's say Monday till Wednesday and then a little to-do section. Then on the right, um, it will start Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And then on the next page, it will go on until, um, yeah, I'm back home. You are trying to fix the sizes of the boxes, but uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little messy, but at least I tried. Okay, now on to <laughs> uh, the first two weeks. These are just going to be some very simple spreads, um, but I wanted to make the background dark blue again. So I just used this marker. I don't know what brand it is. I think it's a really cheap um, brand, um, but the markers work fine. So yeah, I just decided to use my markers this time because I was too lazy to get out my paints again. Um, I think as long as you use the right colors, it's pretty simple to um, yeah, make the northern lights look sort of realistic and it was just you know for a pretty small drawing so I thought using the markers was fine enough. Also in these spreads as well I made the top three boxes longer than the ones below it and you can barely see it. So maybe I shouldn't have told you, but <laughs> I noticed way too late that I made that mistake. And now again, I just, I can't really fix it. Um, but I'll just pretend that it's not there and that I just didn't see it. Because it's only, it's only a small mistake. <laughs> the drawing that I made here is a little messy. I don't know what I was trying. Um, I guess the colors look all right, but it doesn't really look like Northern Lights as much as I would have wanted to. And I almost forgot a blue line at the right, but thankfully I fixed that. Then on to the next week, which I already painted the day before. And I'm just gonna finish it off uh, by writing the days of the week. And then, yeah, finally on the right. Um, yeah, I made a very simple looking weekly spread. Oh, technically it's only four days. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this. I already explained why these are a different size and why the weekly now looks a little bit strange like this. Uh, 
Also, in my confusion, I accidentally wrote Monday instead of Friday. <laughs> so I just fixed it by covering it up um, with a black marker and then writing over it with a white gel pen. And the next page is basically the same, um, just four big boxes for the four remaining days that I'm in Iceland. And then on the right, I sort of made a mistake. I don't know why, but I thought um, I wanted to fit another whole week on this spread, including the remaining days of the previous week. So on the left page, it ends on Friday, so I'd have to continue on with Saturday and Sunday, and then also include the next week. But I noticed later that that week um, the majority of those days are in March, so it would be a lot smarter if I just included that weekly in a March setup. So I first meet all of these boxes, um, which are, they're nine boxes, but it looks so messy and unnecessary since, yeah, the majority of the days are in March. So I eventually um, covered it up. Um, yeah, you'll see about here. <laughs> I covered up the Monday and then I just um, cut out a piece of paper and stuck it over the remaining days. And then just made a nice drawing of some Northern Lights and called it a day. I thought it was a pretty good fix. Um, yeah, first I wanted to make a sort of minimalistic um, version of it, but I absolutely hated how it looked. I found this quote online that said remember to look up, which I thought was very fitting. But again, this looked ugly, so I <laughs> just made it like the other drawings, just a big blob of black at the front with some trees. Um, and then the lights coming in and then making a dark background. <laughs> So I really didn't like, I liked the quote, but not the placement of it. So I just drew over that with my markers. And then with the white gel pen, I just rewrote the uh, quote. And I think this looks way, way better. I went over it twice because it didn't really show up very well. I noticed that this white gel pen sometimes um, on, on certain markers doesn't work very well. So if I use it on this dark blue marker, it just turns into a very light blue instead of a pure white. So I had to go over it twice and then I added some stars, which is always the most fun for me. And then we're done. This is the final flip through. I'm really happy with the spreads. I think everything looks so, so beautiful. I hope the real thing is even prettier. I mean, I know it will be. Um, and I can't wait to go to Iceland and show you my adventures. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye.